Hi, this is Frank from YOLO Live. Today we're diving into the biggest update in the new version of YOLO Box Extreme, saving multiple live stream parameter settings. Over the past six months, we've received a lot of feedback from users hoping for the ability to save their live streaming parameter settings. This would help save a great deal of preparation time, cut down on repetitive work, and allow creators to focus more of their energy on content creation. With the new version of the YOLO Box Extreme, we're excited to officially introduce this new feature, the ability to save multiple live streaming parameter settings. In this video, I'll walk you through the full scope of what's covered under this new feature in the new version and show you how to use it. Without further ado. In the live event list, when I tap the icon in the top right corner of an event that's marked as ended, a menu pops up here. I can see three options, duplicate, reload, and delete. Now, reload is a brand new feature. And what that means is I can reuse the same live event over and over again without having to create or copy a new one and reset everything from scratch. When I tap reload, the status in the top right corner changes from ended to open or resume. That means I can reopen and start using this live event again. And the best part is most of the settings I configured earlier are automatically saved by the system. So next, uh, let's take a closer look at what kinds of settings the new version of YOLO Box Extreme can now preserve for you. In the new version, most parameters now support precision save. This means that the saved uh, settings are limited to the specific live event. In practice, when I reload or uh, duplicate a live event, the parameters previously set in that event are automatically retained by the system. Now let me walk you through uh, which parameters support precision save by creating a new live event. When creating a live event, I first need to enter the event name, description, and other basic details. The live event details entered here are automatically saved by the system and will persist when the event is reloaded or duplicated. Once the event is successfully created, we open the event control panel. First, we see the video source control area in the lower left corner, which is often the most closely watched section by users. In the previous version, video sources such as multi-view, NDI inputs, and SRT input could not always be saved like other sources. This meant that each time you re-entered a live event, you had to re-add them, which was very tedious. The new version optimizes this process. Once multi-view, NDI inputs, or similar sources are added, they are automatically saved by the system. This ensures that every time you return to the live event, NDI inputs and multi-view no longer appear as black screens. Tap the small gear icon in the top right corner of a video source to open its editing toolbar. All functions within this toolbox are now automatically saved by the system, so you no longer need to repeatedly tweak each video source. A quick note. It's not only the transitions within the video source toolbar that support autosave. The transitions control section as a standalone feature also supports autosave, including transition selection and duration settings. For easier management, uh, the order and naming of video sources often need to be adjusted or edited. In the old version, these changes could not be saved, causing your carefully planned layout to reset. In the new version, video source order and naming are automatically saved, ensuring your layout always stays as intended. Similarly, PDF and image playback settings are also automatically saved. Next, we move to the right-hand function area. First, audio mixer settings. Essentially, all audio settings you see are now automatically saved. This includes per-channel audio switch, AFV switch, and mix minus switch. Tap the small speaker icon in the top right corner to open line-in mic-in settings. And now parameters like line-in and mic-in noise reduction and audio gain are also automatically saved. Beyond the audio mixer settings, all parameters in the background music control area are automatically saved as well. Moving on to the features most commonly used in sports live streaming, scoreboard and replay. Scoreboard style selections and design parameters are all automatically saved, and every parameter in the replay settings is also fully supported for autosave. Next is recording. Recording source selection, recording location, recording duration settings, and recording encoder settings are saved according to your latest configuration. Likewise, live encoder settings also support automatic saving. If you make slight adjustments to the sources you want to record, make sure to sync your recording settings. Otherwise, recording will follow the most recent recording setup. Many users rely on auto switch mode for efficiency. The new precision save also covers most settings in auto switch mode so you no longer need to repeatedly configure which video sources and parameters require auto-switching before each stream. Beyond these features, settings such as auto-mute and allow participation in invite guests, streaming platform info and broadcast mode selection, relevant comment settings as well as director mode and standard mode selections are all automatically saved.
Some parameters are only applicable to global autosave, which means the settings you make in one project will be recorded by the system and automatically applied across all projects. All parameters under overlays are globally saved, including the overlay order, name, size, position, and text settings. In addition to overlays, settings such as function, tab order, and visibility, CPU usage, display switch, safe frame display switch, video source switching settings, HDMI input and output settings, and YOLO deck settings in the live event general settings are also saved globally. Some buttons have special functions. To make sure your live stream runs smoothly and stays under your control, these buttons are turned off by default and do not support autosave. Let's start with the functional control buttons. This includes the apply switch for overlays, the auto switch for auto switch mode, the auto play button for background music, the apply switch for the scoreboard, the replay button, the record button, NDI out, UVC out, the network bonding switch, and most importantly, the go live button. All of these are turned off by default and must be manually enabled and controlled. In addition, within the platform control area, both SRT streaming and streaming platform status don't support autosave either. You'll need to turn them on manually when needed. Lastly, the fade to black transition is also disabled by default and always requires manual control. We've covered a lot of information in this video. If you have any questions about the Yellow Box Extreme, feel free to let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about the Yellow Box Extreme and other Yolo Live products. Thanks for watching.